Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Like so many people around the world, I was unlucky enough to catch COVID-19 on the run-up to Christmas. And whilst the worst symptoms only lasted a few days, my smell and taste disappeared for almost a month, and I couldn't taste a thing, and I love my food. Now, when it came back, I was determined it was time to expand my palate and make the most of every bite. So I picked up a new recipe app called Mela, and I'm so impressed I wanted to show you it today. Now, Mela is available on macOS, iOS, and iPadOS, and is developed by Silvio Rizzi, the brains behind Reader, that's R-E-E-D-E-R, -E -E the RSS feed application, which also happens to be my RSS app of choice as well. So it was an easy choice to buy. It's easy to get recipes in. It's got some great features when you're in there to make cooking easier, as well as the ability to share recipes with friends and family. Okay, I'm on my iPad here, and whilst Mela is available on all formats, I feel the iPad version is the most suited to setting it up in the kitchen whilst you're cooking. So that's the version that I'm gonna concentrate on today. Although all three formats are great. They're just formatted and displayed a little bit differently as you would expect. Now the universal iOS and iPadOS app is $4.99, and the macOS version is $9.99. Now I'm on the developer's website here because I just wanted to show you what's coming up. We're gonna cover the many ways of getting recipes into Mela. As with historic recipe apps, that can be problematic. But you'll see that no matter the format, we can get good, accurate recipes added to Mela. You can sync between different devices. So if your iPad is out of action and you're cooking dinner, then you can pop your iPhone out and follow along with the instructions. And there's also an RSS component, as you would expect from the developer of a leading RSS app, that allows you to subscribe to cooking and food blogs and import recipes from there. And that's a really sweet feature that I can't wait to show you. Mela has an in-app browser that allows you to search for recipes online and import them with a tap of a button. And when it comes to cooking and executing that recipe, Mela has a focused cooking mode that cuts out all of the cruft from the page and just zones in on the step that you're currently carrying out. And finally, Mela is able to extract all of the ingredients that you need for your delicacy and send them to a reminders list for when you're out at the shops, just tick them off as you go. Then at the bottom here, we've got some useful links for getting help and contacting the developer. Okay, I'm gonna to come to my homepage here where I've got Mela installed already. I've not run it yet. And I've also got Paprika here as well, which is another top quality recipe app. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And I've got this here because there are some recipes in there that I've got and I want to import them into Mela. And I'm gonna show you the process for that if you decide that you wish to migrate from one application to the other. But let's tap on Mela though and see what we have. Well, what we have is a very simple interface and it will look familiar to reader users. In the left-hand pane, we have the main navigation area that will list categories of recipes, links to favorites, browser settings, and more, all of which, of course, we're gonna be covering. Then the individual recipes will be listed in this middle pane. Whilst the right-hand pane is gonna show the recipe details themselves. But let's not look at a blank screen for any longer than needed, though. Let's go through how we can add recipes into Mela. So to do this, I'm gonna tap on these three dots here, which brings up a menu that we're gonna see a lot of. At the top are the three main ways that we can get recipes added, although there are more. First is a new recipe where we will manually add in all of the information that we need. So if you've got a recipe that's been passed down from generation to generation, it's handwritten in your recipe book, then you can add that in here. Next, you can scan a recipe, which is gonna be a popular option because it allows you to digitize your physical recipe books. So anyone who loves cooking will always get a recipe book at Christmas, I know that. So being able to scan recipes is a really useful option. And then finally, you can import recipes from files on your device. And we're gonna cover this by importing from Paprika, as I said earlier. 